Westworld season three is obviously over, but we were left with some questions that sort of got answers from the showrunners, cast, and crew of Westworld. Guess I didn't need to say Westworld again. Like, will there be six seasons? Will Ed Harris and Evan Rachel Wood be back? Is Stubbs okay? Stubbs okay, right? So like I said in that really probably too long intro, was I want to talk about some answers we were given in interviews after the finale of season three. If you're not caught up with season three of Westworld, probably don't watch this. It'll, it'll spoil a lot for you. By the way, before I get into this video and talk too much, did you know that the riot control robot was named Mech by the crew and the robot in Sorak's lab was named Harriet? Very cute. So first, we know that Westworld is renewed for a fourth season, but the showrunners address whether the rumor they have six seasons planned out was true. Nolan confirmed that they never have talked about a specific number of seasons, despite what James Marsden said in an interview. He and his co-showrunner Lisa Joy stated, they still don't know how many seasons of Westworld there will be. So to say they have six seasons planned out is inaccurate. And they said they're actually thankful they never did write out how many seasons because they didn't realize how hard it would be to write each season, including the time needed. But if that makes you nervous that they don't have things planned out, they said they did have a plan in the very beginning. They were writing the pilot. They felt they needed a complete structure. And so they laid it out and it came out into chapters. And they still have a beginning, middle and end to their story and they're heading towards it, they just don't have it completely mapped out and how many seasons it will take to finish that story. And they reassured us that they will continue doing Westworld as long as they have a compelling story to tell and obviously HBO allows them to. By the way, they've been talking for a while about their theme for season four, because as we know, there's a theme for every season of Westworld and they're not gonna tell us it anytime soon because they're monsters. Okay, so the next question I know a lot of us are wondering, Ed Harris. One, will he be back? And two, what was up with the post credit scene in season two and then season three? Little confusing. Well, they answered that. So first, obviously, Ed Harris will be back in season four. He's now basically Haloris's lieutenant. He is host man in black with only his darker tendencies as Haloris decides to conquer the earth and destroy humans because they're weak and hosts are the new gods. And the co-showrunner Lisa Joy said they're actually really excited to see Ed Harris play the host version of the man in black in season four, and they're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Now, with the two post credit scenes, the showrunners confirm once more that the William you see post credits of season two is very, very far in the future, further than we've ever seen before, even with season three being completely out there. So there is a future where full human brain of William that has been mapped out is putting a host body, probably after the host man in black that just has the evil nature of William is put down. Maybe this is a future where human brains are put in host bodies, or maybe something terrible happens in the very, very far future and humanity or hosts feel they need William to help stop something. Because according to the showrunners, host man in black in the post credits of season two is not the same as host man in black in the post credits of season three. And they don't want people to be confused about that. So now I wanna hear your crazy speculations of how you think far, far in the future, full, human mapped out brain of William is put in a host body, why exactly they do that? Oh, by the way, because the man in black in the original Westworld started off as a robot, they did the reverse with their man in black because they thought it would be fun to start with a human man in black and then see him eventually become a host. And I thought that was very cute. What I find interesting is their talk on his redemption in season three. When he opened up to the therapist and admitted he killed his daughter and he deserved to die himself, it was a moment of redemption, but because the therapist wasn't there, obviously she was consumed with what was going on in her own personal life, the narcissistic William took a different epiphany. I'm the good guy, and it is his destiny to kill the host to save humanity. And they claim his distorted version of the truth is what led to his downfall and him becoming the thing that he wanted to hunt down and destroy. And we know we've seen his profile a few times now. He has delusions, he's a narcissistic personality. So it makes sense that would be his downfall. 
All right, next question. How long was Bernard in the Valley Beyond or the Sublime, whatever you want to call it? doesn't really matter. Well, they said that some time has passed and that some shit has gone down since he's been in there. So not exactly an exact time answer, but he was covered in a lot of dust and dirt and it seems like no one checked on him. So obviously people aren't checking into hotels and motels because there's absolute anarchy going on. I also like them talking about how the simulation that has an encrypted key to it is basically an alternate universe. So the Valley Beyond, the Sublime, whatever, is an alternate universe. And they want to explore that more in season four. I really like that idea. This last part on Bernard moved me a little bit. They said that Bernard has a lot of light to bring into the world. And in season four, we're going to see him bringing more light into the world. I love Bernard. Next, they wouldn't answer whether Sorak and his brother will be back in season four. I like Sorak. I know it's because I have a bad guy mustache, but we didn't see him die. So bring him back. Next big question. Will Dolores be back? Heck yes, but not the version that we saw the past three seasons. So no one said that the Dolores we've known, we will never see that Dolores again. Dolores' death, according to him, is final, and the showrunners think it's important to honor that. This version of the character is dead and gone. They stated it is time to say goodbye to that version of her. And they said while truly killing a host is more difficult than killing a human, Dolores' death was real and permanent. But it isn't the last we've seen of Evan Rachel Wood as Dolores. We're just gonna see a different Dolores. And keep in mind, we're being told the show will look very different in season four, just like it looked very different in season three. So there are a lot of ways that Dolores could come back. By the way, Nolan hopes that we all see that Dolores wasn't a villain or a hero, that it's more complicated than that, just with humans, which I completely agree with. A lot of times we decide whether someone is good or bad without realizing we all have good and bad in us. I, I feel like that's something we should know by now, but... We have a really hard time with that. So yeah, her setting humans free, that was a good thing. How she went about it was very shitty and a lot of innocent people died because of it. So she did good and bad. They also revealed that Dolores had been hacking into the system, infiltrating it and causing a rebellion behind the scenes with Rehoboam's own tools all of season three. That's why we see more and more drawings of mazes by humans as the season went on. This becomes apparent in the finale when you see she's controlling the riots by monetizing people, giving them incentives. And she has her group of true believers, according to Nolan, but she also has the group of people that are opportunists, which you have with anything. And they thought it was very fitting that the maze was created by Arnold to test for consciousness with hosts and now is used by Dolores as a rallying cry for freedom in the real world. Lastly, they said just because it looks like Bernard, Maeve, Caleb, and Helloris are going to be the main characters in season four, doesn't mean they will be. So don't make that assumption quite yet. And the thing they like doing is working with a wonderful, talented cast and putting them in new challenging situations and relationships. Just throwing this out there, if you don't give Bernard more to do in season four, I'm gonna have some problems, which means absolutely nothing to the creators of Westworld. I just wanted to throw that out there. So yeah, hopefully that answered some questions you had about the finale of season three of Westworld. And now we wait a really long time for season four.